run free what is up welcome back to my channel so today's makeup tutorial is on the super soft natural everyday makeup look do not mind my background I'm gonna try to something different and I don't really have any cute setup yet but the blue screen the blue screen the green screen is not really I'm not really loving it because I feel like my videos are not as clear as they could be so I wanted to just try out this plain black drop white wall a little bit of a dirty candle in the background I just did this because it smells good but anyways um don't mind the backdrop it's super easy it doesn't take too much time so if you guys want to see how to achieve this makeup look keep on watching so it's always good to moisturize before applying any type of makeup this is the mac mineralized charge water face and body lotion and this is what i'm going to be using to moisturize my face today now i'm taking the wet n wild primer i haven't got a chance to really get an opinion on this primer but it's super affordable so i wanted to try it out in today's look and see how long my makeup lasts and see if it is a hit or miss. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Foundation. I literally love the Maybelline Fit Me and I have been not really fond of matte foundations lately so this is what I'm going to be using today. bit of more products because in my sensitive areas there's barely any coverage so I need a little bit more I would definitely say this is no more than medium coverage foundation so if you're a full coverage kind of girl then I would probably recommend trying the matte one now I'm going in with the Tarte 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 <laughs> Shape Tape Concealer in the shade light this is running out so I'm so sad so this product is currently running out so I'm taking a little bit of the MAC essential oils and just applying it into the tube and that way it's gonna be a lot easier when I try to get some of the product out. I'll be applying a little bit underneath my eye I'm not doing a full face like beat like I don't want to be super beat since it's like a more natural everyday kind of look so I'm really just gonna focus that underneath my eyes I'm not gonna like carve out the highlight and stuff But I can't leave out my nose contour. Never. Now I'm taking the RCMA No Color Powder and I'm going to be setting my face with this. Eyes so sensitive. My eyes are so sensitive. I swear. They're either like super itchy, like I can't. Ugh. My eyes. Okay. My eyes are so sensitive. I cannot. Since it's an everyday sort of deal, I'm not gonna be contouring too heavily. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me, and I'm gonna be applying this as a bronzer. It looks really um light in this, but it's actually a more of a bronzier color. I'm also going to be taking the Morphe M435 brush. I literally live for this brush when it comes to bronzing up the face. I'm going in with a very light hand. favorite Chicathon palette and I'm going to be going in with the Hula Bronzer and I'm also going to be using the Coralista blush. I'm going to be using the Hula Bronzer to do a little bit of a contour. You definitely don't have to do such a cut contour but I don't know I just feel like contouring right now. I'm gonna hold up I'm gonna hold off off I'm going to hold off the blush real quick and highlight my face. I'm going in with glow kit from the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to be taking dripping gold which is this guy right here. I barely have any left and I'm gonna be highlighting with a Morphe M510 brush. 
So no matter if it's in everyday, night, morning, no makeup makeup look, I'm highlighting the out of my face. nose contour with my favorite nose contouring brush the e46 brush from Morphe I'm taking that same hula bronzer to contour my nose I'm snatching up this nose I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. I'm taking this Max Essential Oil and I'm gonna hydrate my lips real quick before I go on with a matte lipstick. Team no lips, but it's all good. That's what makeup's for. I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetic Strip Down Lip Liner. My camera shuts off for like two seconds, but I am topping this off with Honey Love from MAC. Also Queen Bee Lashes from Coco Lashes. So, of course, my camera like just shut off while I was doing my lash, but I think you guys got the idea. Maybe my eyes will stop watering. Let's see, so I just applied them with the Morphe tweezers and really wanted to get them as low to my lash line as possible. So they look super natural. I'm gonna cut this lash. Make sure you cut from the same exact end as you did to the other lash. Right here, I think I cut the end, I hope I cut the end. Just cut a little baby piece off. Ta-da! blending brush and taking a little bit of that hula bronzer apply it on my eye and just make a little bit more of a crease I'm then going to be adding my Coralista blush do a quick smile just because I feel like it's a lot easier a little bit of that hula bronzer and applying it underneath my lash line now I'm taking the immortal lash from Kat Von D Beauty oh yeah and I'm gonna be applying this to the bottom lashes Artist Couture Highlighter and I'm going to focus this on my lid as well as the inner corner of my eye. <music> to end off this makeup look and to set that makeup, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Oh. That actually completes this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I try to make it super relaxed, super instructional, but super easy. This is like my everyday go-to makeup look. So if you guys were looking for something that you still feel glam, but not like over the top glam and you could like run errands and all that nonsense, this is definitely a makeup look for that. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I really do appreciate you guys watching this video. Do not forget to leave any comments, feedback down below, as well as video requests for the upcoming weeks. And also, if you guys love this video so much, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you are notified every single time I upload, which is once a week at least. I love you guys so much, and until my next tutorial, I will see you guys later. Bye!